This is my One Defense Hardcore Ultimate Iron Man. Well, actually, it's my second one because the first one got Ranger Boots, grinded out full Elder Ropes and the Trident just to die at Zura because my Ring of Recoil broke. I wasn't satisfied with that, so I made the following list of items to collect and remade the account called Revere. We are starting with the following items completed on this list and I welcome you all back to this series. We will focus on a lot of items in this episode, but before we get into the video, I want to give a huge thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Opera GX is the first browser ever made for gamers. This becomes clear very quickly because of some of the features. Like the GX control panel, which allows you to limit the CPU and RAM usage of the browser. So it doesn't slow down your browser like some of the other big browsers out there. Opera GX also has a Discord and Twitch integration. Communicate easily with your friends while using the browser and don't miss when your favorite streamers you follow go live. There's also the GX corner. Here you stay up to date with free games. Opera GX looks for them and selects manually. You will find the best deals, the newest releases and breaking gaming news all in one easily accessible place. You can also easily customize the browser with special themes, wallpapers and colors to personalize it to your likings. And my favorite option in this browser has to be the Force Dark Page feature. This will auto turn every website you go to into the dark theme. This feature saves me a headache since almost every website thinks it's a good idea to blind you. Go download Opera GX with the link down below and let me know what you think about the browser. Thanks again to Opera GX and let's get into the video. Right, so they did a clue rework and I'm back on the account and this should be the first casket on the account. So let's see what the starting kill count is. All right, so we're starting with 51 medium clue scrolls. So they added these crop circles as well a while ago. There's a bunch of new locations and once you enter one of these crop circles, it will give you a 30 minute speed boost getting through the weed. So that is actually an amazing update. It will help out with clues a lot and in general impling hunting. Oh, two pages. That is amazing. That's actually one of the things I'm looking for. I do not remember anything about my pages on this account. So it is a total surprise. Hopefully one of these pages is unique. But the god books are very important on a one defense account. Right, let's see. Okay, so the ancient page is a duplicate, but I did finish the Bendel's book. Look at that. Four, and yeah, that's page four. So that's best in slot strength bonus, so very nice. If you look at my pages RNG, it's not the best. I got a lot of duplicates in the books I want, but not a bad start of clue scrolls for sure. So for the people that are wondering, my method of doing medium clues on this account is actually clue juggling. I basically get one clue in Puro Puro and then fill up my inventory with impling jars. Drop the clue scroll and open the jars until I get multiple clues. Sometimes I don't get clues and I just try the single clue. But if I do get multiple clues, it really helps out because as soon as I get a defense step, I can drop the clue and continue with the clue on the ground. And the steps will still be progressed, so this is a lot better than normal clue scrolls. But yeah, I thought I'd share the method because it is really, really good for me. First decent item, a Saradome and Mitre. So the items I'm looking for are all of the Bendel stall pieces. My main goal with medium clues is being able to store the full Bendel's rope set. And that requires 6 pieces on an ultimate Iron Man. I have the top, bottom and Mitre, so the only items I need is the stall, the crozier and the cloak. And while going for the items, I'm also going to hunt some boots. Oh, yes, there it is. Bendel's Crozier, the first item of the list that I need. Uh, 69 clues, nice. So yeah, that's one out of three items completed. And I'm only 19 clues in, so very, very good start. And there we go, we put it in the POH and I can only take it out once I get the full set completed. That is a very strange medium clue scroll. 20 purple sweets and one clue scroll. We did get over 100 clues by the way. No, I already have that, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. 
If this is a duplicate again. <gasps> yes! Oh, thank you. Oh, we need one more page, bro. I'm so happy. Yes. Oh, nice. This, this could be a very good opening. This can be a very good opening. Oh, beautiful. Ooh, ooh, hello. I already have the Bandles book. That's new, I think. Ooh, ancient page. Yo, the ancient pages, guys. I have the worst freaking luck with the ancient pages. Can we also redeem the ancient page, RNG? That would be sick. Here we go. Yes! <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, it's turning around. Look at that. Dude, I got three unique pages in all the books I want. That is... That is good. I only need one page of each of those books now. Look at that. Finally, the the, 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 the dry streak is, is over, you know, on the pages. Ooh. And that is a book completed. Ceridomin. Not that useful, but pretty cool. Last medium boy. Oh my god, yes. What a great opening. Oh my god, yes. All I need now is the cloak. And I can store every single Bandles item I have. That's amazing. That was such a great opening. I didn't get boots. But I did get one of the Bandles items. And I got four unique pages. Alright, I've been getting some dragon bones from Implings. And that is... 48 prayer. I will go for 55 eventually. I still have to do a couple quests. But I might as well get these passive levels with the dragon bone implings. Druk op het knopje. Abonneer alsjeblieft. We start with the easy clue. <laughs> Someone said I get a page from the easy clue and I actually did. <laughs> Is it the finished armor book? Oh my god. That is the armor book completed from that random ass easy clue. Alright, okay. We need page one for Zemi. Then we have all the well the two main books I want, so that is um amazing. Alright, let's carry on. Five more. Come on. To make turn it around a little bit. Maybe maybe something something uh, something on the boot slot would be cool. <gasps> yes! That is indeed something on the boot slot. There it is. Manacles, guys. That is best in slot melee for purists. Right, so after that big clue opening, I decided to try the master clues. And with all of the master clues on the ground, I managed to get to a step where I need a dragon scimitar. And it's actually step number six, which means it could be the casket. And with this account progression, there's no way I'm going to get another master clue that far progressed. And there's one way to get a dragon scimitar and that's basically smoke devils because i am going for smoke devils for the occult necklace so it might sound crazy but i think i will keep this master clue scroll um as long as i have the inventory space for it i don't see why not so so yeah once we get to smoke devils we might have a clue scroll in the inventory look at this guys book of laws has been completed plus 10 range attack very big for this account we will be using this for Slayer, actually, as well. And Saradomen. Other than that, not many places I can use this at. Couple clues after the big opening. That's the first cloak, but not the cloak that I want. I've decided I'm just going to grind out the Bandles cloak at this point, because it is the last item I need, and I'm basically done with clues. Wizard boots would be cool, but it's not something I will hunt hundreds of clues for. 98 dragon bones. Ooh. <gasps> yes, I got Bellos Cloak! Yes, we are done. That was so fast. 190 clues in total. So that is an amazing amount of clue scrolls to finish on. Didn't go dry. This account is once again a spoon. And there we go, we can now store all of the items and as you can see we have all six items of the Vestment Bundle set. 
And that means I can store all of the items and take them all out. And I can also separate them, which is amazing. So when I'm doing Slayer, I can only keep the miter and the top and store the other items. And when I have barrage tasks, I can use the rope. So it is super nice. First herbal level, 51. I'm going to make some prayer pots and I'm slowly prepping for Slayer now. Going to need a lot of prayer potions for the bursting tasks. And yeah, we have a big Slay grind ahead, but it will be very good for the account. I'm going to get a lot of combat skills. And I will be getting a lot of items from Slayer too. Alright, quickly finish my task and we are starting with 73 tasks in a row and a total of 170 points. Let's see what the Slayer grind brings us. Very important upgrade that we need to unlock early on which is bigger and better. I can now get superiors, boost my Slayer XP by a lot and of course we will hunt for that imbued heart. If I get an imbued heart on this account it would be so nice for Zura. And I missed a level but that is the first Slayer level that I got on the account. 62 Slayer to start out with. And a very nice first range level on the account, 85 range. So we have pretty decent stats already. It's not like I'm starting from scratch. We are getting close to dust devils already and my range hits are not bad. So I'm at a pretty okay stage of Slayer right now. Look at this big hot boy. First superior on the account. It's not a very good one, but you never know. You can get imbued hearts from all of those guys. And we get nothing. First big bursting tasks and that should get me a magic level 68 magic so we're only two levels away from ice burst and that will increase our dps by a lot doing these tasks but this is definitely the best task i can get right now i use bracelets to extend the tasks and that's one task finished and i got 22,000 xp from that task another jelly's task completed for 28,000 xp I managed to get a heart clue that required a quest that I did not have completed. So we so I decided to complete the quest real quick. Two quest points. We do need 150 quest points for another Slayer block. So these quests are not bad to do. This one gave me a lot of agility XP. So it's a good quest to do regardless. And that is another clue step unlocked. I'm about to kill my first Cotizo on the account and on my previous account I killed a lot of these guys and I think I got the pet as well on like 6 kill count. I think it will probably slow down my Slayer grind but I will get some cool drops I guess. So if you guys want me to do these Cotizo kills let me know I can just pick up the totems and do them. And there we go that's the big level 70 magic for Ice Burst. And another big Slayer level, 65 Slayer, which unlocks Dust Devils and these tasks will give a lot of XP with bracelets. I will also extend Dust Devils, so I'll get 200 plus per task. Right, so this account seems to be the lucky account with Slayer because I just got Dust Devils really quickly. I got 239, so that's almost max as well. So yeah, not complaining. We're gonna fly through Slayer levels if we get these a lot, so that's awesome. First Dust Devil task completed on the account and as you can see I got 44,000 XP from one task and these tasks take less than one hour so that's a lot of XP at this stage. And I pretty much make all of my money back with the drops using the ring for the low alks. And there we go that's 68 Slayer as you can see we are flying up level 72 magic as well from these bursting tasks. It's going pretty well. Another task completed, another 37,000 XP. Alright, here we go. Pretty clean level incoming. 80 hit points on the account. Very nice. Bursting tasks are also very great for hit points XP. Very fast XP. There should be 100 in a row, there we go, for 250 points and a total of 300 points. So we have a bit more points to work with and we can probably start working on a block list. There's a range level, 87 billion ranged and we are almost 72 combat. 
I completely forgot how good these tasks are for a prayer. Uh, 50 each for 50 prayer as well. Five more levels to go. I'm going to take it a bit slower with the prayer because I don't want to get 55 without the questing. Yeah, nice level to get out of the way. There we go. Choke boy devil for 70 slayer. That's a very nice level because that unlocks kurasks and that's a very good task to make money. They also have very good superiors, so these slay levels are starting to get a bit more interesting now. Another dust devil task completed. We got 74 magic this task, and this task almost gave me 50,000 XP. I killed 316 dust devils in one task. And the GP stack is also growing, even though I'm buying runes, so this is going really well. At this rate, I'm going to get a lot of levels very fast. Alright, I'm not going to bore you with all of the questing clips, but I did about a day of questing and I got myself all the way to 150 quest points. I did basically all the important quests on this account now. The only one I have left is Swan Song, but I don't have the requirements yet, so that one has to wait a little bit. That's basically the quest for the prayer XP that I was talking about earlier in the video. But 150 quest points gives me one more slayer block and I'm going to use that straight away because I got Dagonoth and I want to get that on my block list. So I feel like I'm pretty much ready to do the big slayer grind now. We have the storable rope set, we have all the blocks, we have ice burst, so very good. Got myself a free smithing level for making darts. Uh, I got dust devils once again, my favorite task and also the best task I can get because I am going to burst them. And it's pretty crazy. I've got dust devils maybe three or four times now. And on my last account, I did not get dust devils until like level 75. So this time the slay grind is already going way faster just because of dust devils. That's going to wrap up the first episode back on this account. A very strong video. We got a lot of progress done on this account. And I hope you enjoyed the first episode. I know a lot of you guys missed this series. So hopefully some of you guys are happy that this is back. I like to switch it up a little bit with the accounts that I play on. And this was definitely an account I really enjoyed playing before. Thank you so much for watching. If you're excited to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. And have a great day, everyone.